Like check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECEO. And I'm Money Moses, by the way. And we create content every damn day. Hey, man, check it, man. Hey, man, we got a special, special guest back in the house today, man. I had to get her back over here, man. We had a little conversation before, and, uh, you know, she been getting down, man. Uh, formerly, uh, uh, was with uh, Badass ENT, and I've been. I've, I've been, yeah, I've been putting out there bad too with the interviews. I've been like, yeah, she moved on and, and, <laughs> and, and she gonna come back and say, oh, yeah, but, uh, you know, it's still love. It's always bad. And that's dope. But she at the end got of the day, yeah, she got laws. You know, yeah. it's his favorite rapper. So yeah. at the end of the day, I get it, man. But at the end of the day, there is still room. You've been working. So we're trying to focus on where you at now. And that's right. the whole game. Like, so what's the uh, what's the next project? Uh, I'm working on the EP right now, and um, after I push that EP, because I got, I do have a couple people trying to sign me, but I'm just I'm cool on that right now. I'm gonna push my EP out, and then I'm gonna just work, 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 and then, you know, see what happened after that. But I ain't in no rush to sign no deal. You know, I was with Boosie for three years, and that 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 was like three years. And and <laughs> I heard you, I heard you say, you know, kind of like, you know. When it didn't happen, you know, you was like, you know, when it didn't, you didn't just get to do a lot of things. So how important was it just, it get, it gets you a look, but it doesn't develop you as an artist if, if you're not. Being I would say that it got, it, being signed to Boost, it kind of, it kind of just gave me um a little clout, that's all. As far as um me getting to where I got to go, none of that, but it it got my name out there, that's all. It got me to a position to where now that I'm in, independent, I got all the resources. I trips off of you because I, you know, I watch the interview uh, with other people. I'm not gonna say the nigga name. You better not. <laughs> Mogul Media, that's my boy. <laughs> that's my guy. Say it. <laughs> that's my guy. I'm giving I it to you. But just um, like when you uh, was on there, it was something about a, a BBL. You, you, you beautiful. Like I'm tripping. Like okay, why is she tripping? Like is she really serious? Is she doing this for <laughs> for views? I was really serious because no, you know I got surgery. Like you know I always been fine. Like even before I ever got surgery, I always had a butt, but I didn't have hips. So when I got my BBL, it was strictly for my hips. Like I told him, put the fat in my hips and just, you know, kind of lift my butt up a little bit. So my butt was still kind of natural. But my doctor said, don't sleep on your hips. And I slept on my hips and they, they, they went away. So what I was saying when I said I want another BBL, I wasn't saying I want them to put nothing in my butt, more of my hips. But cause I, I Bro, mean. Hold on. You don't need this shit. Stop it. Well, they done started yeah, I now. I, I, mean, I, mean, I, I didn't need it the first time, but it kind of, you know, it, 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 it. It's, it's addictive? It is. It's like once you get surgery, it's like you you start to see all type of flaws you didn't even see before. Because, like, I got my breasts done, too. But, like, I told the doctor, I was like, I want to keep my C size, just make them sit up more. He, I woke up with a whole double D. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Doctor was tripping. <laughs> now, you didn't think because it was swole? No, they still a double D. But my doctor, the doctor I've been going to, he's the same doctor who has did all my surgeries. Like, I have had lipo, like, two times. Like, he did everything, my BBL, all that. So, I guess he just felt like I'm going to do what I want to do to her body. And, you know, it looked good, but I don't want no big ass, you know. <laughs> be back problems later on. <laughs> I'm going to get them taken out. Like, really? I only had them a year, but I'm going to get them taken out. So, okay. <laughs> that that And that, that that's something else. Like, when you spend the money, you done broke bread. So it was a bad investment. Surgery is um, if you ain't if you ain't got consistent bread, you don't need to be even trying to think about surgery because it's it's never gonna be just a one time thing. You gonna always say, even if you go get lipo, you are gonna need lipo every year because as soon as you start eating, you are gonna get right back fat. Damn, like it's gonna grow right back. You gonna need it every year. Even when you get a BBL, you have to people think oh, I'm just gonna buy a BBL. No, it's more expensive after you get the BBLs. You gotta pay for massages. You gotta pay for aftercare. You gotta do this. A lot of girls get BBLs and then they shit turn out terrible because they don't have the money for the aftercare. So they don't have the money to get shaped like this. So they didn't want to spend this money. Now they back like this in three months. So. She ain't lying. Wow. <laughs> so I mean, because I see the you got the two dots be on the butt. That 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 come? Do they push it in through there? Two uh, dots? I, yeah, I've seen two dots in the back. Yeah, yeah. what's up with that? That's what they that's what they put the 
put the. <laughs> they make the listen. They make the uncles pop and put them at the. Where else they put them at? Well, they, they, I'm they, new to this. I know this. You true to this? No, I'm not. Hold on, hold on. No, I'm not. <laughs> but you gotta. But you gotta understand. My baby mama had the surgery, but it that's was, why I it, say it you true to it, nigga. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. They gonna get into but it. But she didn't need it either. Okay, you you told her to get it. No, nah, hell no, I ain't want her to get that. Oh well, hell, oh, fuck. I'm, I'm not going no further into yeah, it, money, money. Yeah, you Yeah, you're right. Keep well, right there. Cause <laughs> I won't go no further either. <laughs> so, well, do you think that like like you have uh, like Lil Kim? You know, you know, you see Lil Kim. I love the Kim. That's my cancel. Sister. Okay, Both so when when she you know doing this now, don't look the same as before she got all those surgeries. She got a lot of black mm-hmm. holes. So, so people can go overboard with surgery. So, so like a lot of girls now, like you see a lot of girls in Dallas walking around with ant booties. Like they <laughs> they have these big booties, these small legs. They surgery don't look good because they just doing too much. When I went to my doctor, I'm like, look, I'm already fine. I'm already that bitch. Like just just you know just. Put my hips a little bit, boom, 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 made me natural. That's why when people see me today, you can't tell I got a BBL. My ass soft, it's boom, it's, it, it jiggle, it doo 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 doo. It's, it's good. Ain't yeah. nothing hard about it. These hoes be walking around with hard ass, big, two big ass booties with small legs, and it's it's crazy, it's terrible. And they they keep going back. You could keep. It's just gonna get worse and worse. So you man. fucked it up, man. I gotta ask you about the elephant in the room, man. Uh, uh, being that you into rap, you know, uh, uh, take off was, uh, you know, he went through. You know, he he passed away. R.I.P. Take off. Like, uh, where were you at when that happened? And like, like, uh, what did you think when you heard about it? I actually woke up like. So when I wake up, as soon as I open my eyes, I grab my phone. Okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna yeah. lie, I got straight yeah, on Instagram, too. and that was the first post I saw. Take off dead. I'm like, this, this a lie. It's I'm steady scrolling. That's all I see. Everybody post take off, take off, take off. I'm like, damn, this really feel like it. Really feel like you know how I felt when Dog. left eye died. Or left eye from TLC. Mm-hmm. That that hit me hard. I cried. I cried. You was young, girl. I was yeah, I cried. Young as hell. How old was you by right then? I was a kid. Yeah. But that was my favorite female artist. Like, I cried. Wow. So when you <laughs> seen that, you know, it's like out here at Rappers, you, do, how, you know, being out late night, I know you've been around, you've been around the entertainers and stuff, um, and, and people, you know, they things do happen, you know, I've been, I've seen it growing up as well, it ain't nothing new, people blow it up like it's something different than what's been happening, but it's something that we've all dealt with growing up as, as youth and going into uh, manhood, like, what can we do to make things to where it's not so crazy and conflicting out here? I don't know. People been asking that question for decades, probably long before I was born. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Some people just, it, I don't know. It's tough, ain't it? I mean, like you can want you can want to change, but like the person next to you probably don't want that. So it's like everybody gotta want 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 that. You know? But then you got niggas out here, you know, with these guns. They say some people, you know, shooting and ain't been to no gun range. Uh, <laughs> ain't really no real, you know, a lot awesome of people just shooting because they think it's cool. Because a lot of these shooters, like you know, I'm a I'm a hood bitch. So <laughs> uh, really? like a lot of these, a lot of uh, I, I know for a fact, a lot of these niggas who shooting and killing people, they just doing it because they think it's a trend. They really pussy. You them same people get arrested and you put them in that interrogation room. They gonna tell everything. They don't want to do that mm-hmm. time, they but they they squeeze that trigger quick, cause they but just doing it to be cool to fit in. But they don't no, want to. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I say like, it's no trigger in jail though. Exactly. Well, exactly. It's no trigger in jail, so you have to fight. So exactly. learn to fight first, and then pull that trigger if you have to. That's if you have to, but learn to fight first, bro. I hate wow. these kids. I know a days. lot of dudes who will not fight you for, to save their life, but they'll uh, shoot you. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking, speak, yeah, it, yeah. It's crazy, man. Right. I mean, I, another thing I heard you say, and I'm gonna go and ask this too because I like to know you. You claim that Charleston White shot your car or something. Is that cap? Like I was listening. No. I'm like, did she just do that for a clickbait or what? Do I? I never. No, no. Some said, people do. You know, I never, the internet. Said, I never said that? nothing or did nothing for clout ever. So, so this here, you was really at a place where this happened. Like you seen this dude. Yes, we wow. was in the same living room together. Like, yes, which we only we ain't gonna go too deep in detail, but <laughs> ain't no lie. <laughs> nah. So the the car was hit, and and you don't know who it's, done it. It's, it's outside. <laughs> Damn. <Bullet> I, <laughs> Damn. 
<laughs> like, do it be this real? Like, is it this crazy out here? Like, people out here really just living their best life, huh? Mm -hmm. I can tell you that. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> well, stop it. I can tell you that. Your brother ain't told you what happened? No, I don't want to hear it, nigga. That lives, I know the better off I am. You know <laughs> okay, what I'm talking yeah. about? <laughs> <laughs> so do you when you think about just the way that, that people you know doing on the internet you know things that be popping up on the internet uh how what percent do you think is real and what percent do you think is fake a lot of it's fake a lot of a lot of stuff is fake and even when i was signed to boosie just being around um entertainers and stuff i i noticed that a lot of stuff is fake i think that's what discouraged me when i was signed to boost Mary I mean, in the last interview i was like i kind of stopped caring about music because it's like i got in it so excited and then when i got in it i saw the real half this shit is fake half the people you look up to they not who you think they are and it's just a lot of this stuff is just publicity wow a lot of publicity around this whole. So I mean, I, I feel like I could have been made it if I was one of those people who clout chased and just wanted fame. Like I don't, I don't care. Cause look, look at me. If I if I wanted to pull some clout moves or or care to be fake, I'm not. I can't be fake. I can't sit in a room with people I don't like. I can't fake nothing just so I can go up in the music. Like I can't. So it, I mean, it's gonna take me a little more time, but I'm gonna get there. Already, I just I, I like I like your vibe from day one, and I told you that like you really come across as a genuine individual, and you ain't playing. And and when I look on online, like I said, I look for all your stuff. When I looked, it wasn't just a massive a lot of you know like videos and all that. So I'm like, she's still you know trying to just figure this thing out, or did you take some down, or did you just basically revamp so it? So I'm a, like I never like I didn't even speak on this because it was like a personal situation but like a situation happened with me and and boosting them not specifically boosting my manager or whatever i don't know um if it was because i didn't resign i don't know what it was they took all my stuff off youtube everything is gone wow because that that's what i look for it i'm telling you i look for something and certain things like yeah, i found a couple of things while i was signed to boosie everything i was dropping was dropped under boosie um youtube so okay um, when whatever happened, happened, which, which to be honest with you, um, my manager and Boosie, I'm like, it wasn't them. It was Boosie brother TQ who took all my music down. I don't know. I ain't really getting to it. I was beefing with them. <laughs> I ain't talking to them yeah, about three yeah. months. Long. But like, yeah, um, they took everything down. Yeah. And then, but, but then that's, so did you just drop, drop like single, uh, songs and single videos or you I mean after they took all my stuff down I probably I didn't dropped I dropped one video since then I dropped the mic check and I didn't drop one song but um I actually got so much music unreleased I can drop an album in an EP right now like I just want to put a plan behind everything I drop because all my shit so far I can't even choose which one like I'm gonna put this as a single no I'm gonna do this one this one so. wow <laughs> I like it because at the end of the day that could be a blessing in disguise really it, being I, real it gives you a chance for a new beginning that, yeah. you know what I mean Sometimes you gotta stop and revamp and start back. I wasn't really mad because it's like I, I was rebranding my image anyway. So half of those videos they took down, I wanted took it down because it was like the old me. I don't even look like that no more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wasn't really true. Wow, I think it's hard because what's inevitable is what's coming to you. you can't get around you. Mm -hmm. It's coming straight for you. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's hard, man. So you know every uh, every other week you got to come over here and do me a, a sixteen <laughs> ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's homemade and, and you know that was my whole thing for even uh calling you like i've been doing because i really like what i see and i like the way you move um i ask questions about you I ain't gonna lie i'm asking everybody is she faking this oh this is oh, crazy ain't you <laughs> and they're like no she dope so you got with the people that i've talked to you got a hell of a report on being a good person and that means something you know what All i'm right. saying that's hard actually because you, you it ain't nobody in this world can say N nothing bad about me with the music shit. They probably could say I'm crazy, a little throwed out bipolar. Yeah, I mean, one of them old boyfriend niggas be like, hell no, nah, I mean, let that old go, man. That old gonna trip. <laughs> but I'm like, even even my homeboys, I'm, I'm a female, and they call me the realest nigga they know. So it's like. Wow, that's hard. Um, that's hard as hell, man. <laughs> so, man, let's drop these bars, man. Let's get it popping, man. Um, sure. Yeah, let me uh, let me pull the hoe up, man. And you gonna give me a little something, so. Check it, man. Hey, man. Yeah. Nina Loretta in the building. <laughs> For the second time. Mm. Hey, I 
ride his dick until he real tired I told him ain't no tapping out, boy, this a long ride I like a big dick, nigga, rich and circumcised Say if your baby daddy love me, I apologize Say if we fuck, you better not tell, cause I tell a lie That nigga fuck me like a dog, say he a Gemini I heard a hoe say it was beef, and I replied Ho, you can get your ass beat, I ain't hard to find I just be thugging in my section, all these bitches with me stepping Send some racks up on my shoes, you better watch how you be stepping Cock it, bitch, you see this ass up on my back, it's like a best thing We'll whoop a hoe up out her fucking weed if she get messy Ho was trying to fuck my nigga, she ain't know the way we roll We'll throw a party on that pussy, we'll team, that's how it go Get that money just to flip it, spin that shit and get some more And I'ma pop my shit like every time and let these bitches know, nigga Yeah! Already, man, Nina Loretta, get it, man. Say, man, so how do you, man, I mean, when you, I know you write, but how long do it take you to just put something together, man? I mean, it depends on the song. Like, if I want it, if I want it to be like some, with some feeling behind it, I'm gonna take my time with it. If it's some quick shit like that, I just rap that with some quick, boom, boom. Do it, I mean, I mean, it's pressure in them, in them studios. You know, you go in there and niggas like, yeah, I need to get this man. You do a feature for somebody. They got all day to be. I ain't waiting. gonna lie. I've been doing every feature I done did this year go so fucking crazy. I didn't bless so many people. Like when I finished the feature, I'd be like, damn, I should kept that verse for myself. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I'm telling you right now, I'm putting together a, a, a cipher for women on Boss Talk, so I definitely I gotta have you for that for sure. It's gonna be probably four four females hard. Okay. Um, I've been reaching out to the ones I want. They're gonna be notable too, and it's going down, man. So I can't wait to do that. And it's about to happen be before the end of this year, or, or probably before. It needs to be before. You think so? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna have you back. So we gonna do it. We gonna we gonna run it. We we're gonna do it after the remodel. It's, it's, it's before or the first of the year. Probably after the remodel. We for the remodel this whole thing. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be a whole media different. Yeah, I moved it because <laughs> it was in your face. I didn't want to be in that camera. Oh, it was. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching you from both angles. Oh, okay, okay. But I got it. I ain't tripping. We're going to make it work. I moved it just in time to give me a little bit of <laughs> Yeah. But how, did, how do you feel like, like like people responding to you on the internet, like when they hear you and they see you, a lot of people saying you hard, man. How they make you feel? I just be like, about time. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've been working a long time, man. I be like, about time. Man, that's like, hard, that's man. So how can people get a hold to you, man, if they're trying to link up for a feature or something like that? Um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everything, Nina Loretta, at Nina Loretta. That's hard, man. So, hey, man, we love you. I love y'all, too. Man, Boss Talk 101, man, that's our girl. <laughs> Nina Loretta in the building. Holla at your boy, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. So,